Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. And what you can see right here on our screen is ClashOfClansBuilder.com. One thing that all of you should know about me is I love base builds. I have probably 30 different bases that I've designed um, for Town Hall 7, Town Hall 6, Town Hall 8, 9, 10, all this kind of stuff. I love it. I don't think that there's one base that is the best. I think that it's good to switch it up and it's just fun. Like I don't want to just have the best base. I want to have fun designing one. So that's what we're going to do today. Today we're going to go through the steps that I take um, when it comes to designing a base. All right. So first what we're going to do is we're going to build around our uh, our town hall. All right. Um, let's actually bring it up. I don't want it to be centered on here. Um, so first we're, we're going to bring in two of our expos. We're going to put them on opposing corners like this. And let's put our clan castle in here too, all right? So we're going to have a little square in the middle. Um, and the square is not centered, but that's fine. Um, <clears throat> and then next, why don't we... Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Why don't we put our... So we would definitely want our Inferno Towers to be uh, in the middle, in the middle area. So we're, why don't we put these right here? That'll be good. That should cover the whole center. And then... Um, Let's see. Again, guys, this video this video could be 15 minutes long. It could be 20 minutes long. Who knows? We're just going to go through the process of building a base. So y'all are going to see what I would actually do if I were to design a base before putting it on YouTube. So what we need to do is we're probably going to end up having our other expo down here or up here. Let's have it up here. And I want to try and have as many compartments as possible in this base. Big compartments, small compartments, whatever it may be. Because, oops, didn't mean to do that. Stop it. <laughs> uh, let's put this right here and this right here. And this is going to be a small compartment, as you can see. So it's going to be a different width than any of the other compartments that we have. So this whole top side is going to be protected pretty well. And we can go ahead and just bring a couple of giant bombs up in here up in here <laughs> uh, all right so let's continue on we're gonna need to bring in our wizard towers which are my favorite defense in the game because they freaking go ham um, all right put the we're gonna put those right there and let's put the other ones right up here triangulate those and then let's go ahead and bring in our air defenses we're gonna want these to be protected pretty well and I'm also gonna put an archer tower right here um, to help from Balloonian. So anybody that's attacking with Balloonian, it's gonna be a little bit annoyed. And the reason that I'm putting the archer tower out by the wizard tower is because when balloons come in, uh, people are going to attack the archer tower and then they're gonna go to the wizard tower all along the air defense is just going to be crushing them. So that's my thought process. <laughs> behind that so we're gonna do that on all of these actually and see how that looks towards the end of this okay so we're gonna go ahead and fill this in right here fill this in right here this is already this is already looking pretty cool it's like a an X type design fill that in and let's see what else we have so uh, we have our mortars that we're gonna need to use and why don't we put one of our mortars right here one of our mortars right here next to this air defense and the other mortar right here next to this one and then let's put cannons going out like this sorry if y'all can hear that dog in the background that freaking dog barks all night and it's so annoying uh, and then why don't we go ahead and put uh, archer tower and archer tower just like this and we'll build this up Yep, 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 yep. Um, you know what I actually think I might want to do? Watch this. We're going to do this. This is going to be cool. We're going to bring this out too. We're going to bring this out too. We're going to bring this out too. And let's do this. So we're just going to make a... We're going to make a little extra force field all the way around the base. That's just going to help protect that town hall even a little bit more. Uh, bring this down, bring this over, and we're going to add that on right there. 
This needs to be blocked off. And then this kind of sucks. We'll just bring this right here and then build up with it. Um, yeah, let's do that. So bring this out and over right there and then bring that in. Sweet. So that's going to add, if anybody comes in on these, they're going to have to go through an extra wall to get into the center. So right now they have to go through one, two, three walls to get into the center of the base, which is perfect. That is exactly what we want. Um, let's go ahead and do, do we have any more archer towers? We have one more archer tower. Uh, I'm trying to think if I want to put some of our archer towers in different areas. Like what if we did an archer tower right here? We put a cannon right here. Yeah, let's put a cannon right here because if I get attacked by ballooning a lot, and if we have cannons right here, then people are going to be stressed because they're, oops, excuse me, <laughs> because their defenses are going to go straight for those instead of for uh, important defenses. Like a cannon, if you're attacking with ballooning, you don't care about because you're attacking with air troops. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about when it comes to those. Um, and then why don't we go ahead and let's put, uh, I have two more cannons. We'll put a cannon right here and a cannon right here. And let's, why don't we make this kind of like a, I guess we can make it kind of like a Southern teaser type thing. Um, but we can go ahead and do this actually just build these out because we've got a okay amount of walls left over still we're gonna go ahead and just build this out to here and build this out to here as well just to give that a little bit of extra defense um, and then as you guys can see so we still have one more archer tower that's our last defense we'll go ahead and just throw that right here and we do have our heroes to put in here somewhere as well as our resources looks like I forgot about our resources but um, the thing about that is when you're trophy pushing you're not too worried about your gold storages you're worried about your elixir because you need it but my biggest thing is going to be winning defenses so <clears throat> that's why we have it like it is so far we still have 25 walls that we can use um, let's see here why don't I put we're gonna build the wizard towers right here. I'm gonna put an elixir storage right in here. Get this out here. Put an elixir storage right in here. And why don't we just throw our king and our queen out here as well. That way, if anybody does attack with ballooning, which has been happening a lot, uh, well, they'll take out the king, but they won't take out the queen too easily. <clears throat> And then why don't we bring our, here, we'll put our other elixir storage right here and right here. And we'll have our cannons out here and we can just build this out kind of like this. That doesn't look too bad. Do we have any more? We don't have any more defenses. I kind of want to, I definitely want to protect my dark elixir. So we're actually going to bring that in here and we're going to have this mortar set up out here. Why don't we go ahead and use the rest of the walls right here? Can we get rid of any walls anywhere? No, I think that's, I mean, honestly, I think that's looking pretty good. If somebody attacks from any of these sides, it's going to take them a while to get to the middle of the base. One, two, three. No matter what, they have at least three walls to go through. If they attack from over here, they're going to have four walls to go through. The base is super symmetrical, which I love. Um, so that is obviously a, a plus with this. Let's see what else we can do. So I can use those walls like that. I almost want to, however, build out like this. And we need to take some of these, build these out. So that's kind of like a, uh, Let's see, I think, I mean, I think that looks pretty good. Our Teslas are in there pretty well, protecting the center. But here's another thing about Teslas. 
you almost want to have some of them outside of the walls like this to help with, uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take out these Teslas and we're gonna make room for one more thing inside of here. Let's throw in uh, gold storages. There we go. And then we're gonna put these Teslas right here. That looks good. I, I like those bigger, I like those bigger boxes a lot more. We still have, uh, and that gave us four more walls. So we can put those down here if we want to. I almost want to bring them out like this though. Oops, just so that we can put some mines and whatnot in here. And we're gonna put some traps around this, some air mines. We can go ahead and bring in some of our, we'll put some spring traps right up here for anybody that's trying to go after that expo and anybody that comes into that mortar. So when we don't get attacked with balloony and we'll have that and then we'll put these two right here for someone going from the wizard to that. And let's put a couple of the splash uh, damage ones in there. We'll throw some of these towards, put one right here. Did I put that? I did put this in the wrong place. I kind of like those right there though because they'll help protect those archers. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll throw one of these right here. We'll put one of them right here. And then we'll add some of these right here and right here. We'll put two of these in the middle behind these air defenses so that those will help protect that. And then we've got one more, oops, did it again. Oops, I, you, you guys probably don't even know that song. <laughs> We're gonna put that one right there. And then let's go ahead and bring, um, let's bring this, let's just put another one of these. Those are both covered, those are both covered. Our, our archer towers are pretty well covered right now. I'm gonna just put another one, I'm gonna put one right here, just to help protect with that. I kinda wish I had another one to put over there. Let's just put one of these right here and then we'll put one of these right here. That's perfect. And then we're going to just spread everything else around. So I'll probably just fill all of this in like this. We're gonna put random buildings around here. I know, let me see if I can, I don't wanna zoom out. Last time I did that, it messed up the program and I had to restart. <clears throat> so let's do this. We're just gonna put all these random buildings around. We don't have any more defenses or anything great, so we're good there. Go ahead and bring this up here. Bring one of these up here. And let's do army camp right here. Some of this might get cut off, guys, but um, where does this go? Army camp right here. We do still have two of our gold storages, but that's fine. Uh, when you're pushing, I'm not too worried about those. Bring this other army, bring that right there. Well, let's protect that by the, no, we'll, we'll protect it right there. The mortar will help protect it and do work to anybody that tries to steal anything from it. Bring these out here. We do have a couple more giant bombs. I'm just gonna place two of them right in here. And then we can throw the other giant bomb. Hmm. Let's just put it right there. We need to spread some of these out in here as well, our little bombs, bring those in. Uh, guys, this is all just kind of for uh, informative base building. The reason that, so y'all can see what goes through my mind whenever I build. So you can see that my air defenses are all around the base, my wizard towers are all around the base, my archer towers are all the way around the base. And <clears throat> Some of them are closer together. Right now, this base is supposed to protect against Balloony and I feel like it's gonna do a pretty good job because when you have Teslas on the outside like this, it's gonna really, really annoy people and stress them out and it's gonna make them uh, attack and then feel like they've already lost. So putting these random buildings out here and again, you wanna have your buildings not, you don't wanna have any of them too exposed, especially when you're dealing with Balloony and attacks because it's just gonna be free points for the <clears throat> for the minions to come and take from you. So you want these to be as close to your building as possible. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing right here. And let's 
We got random builders huts to put around. That's builders huts are percentages too, guys. And I would say never put your builders huts together because someone can lightning spell and honestly get three of them. So you definitely want to spread those out a little bit. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna put a couple of buildings right here as well. Put them close like this. And I think that, so we have two more army camps to use. Why don't we put one of them? Um, shoot, I can't fit one up at the top because <laughs> I built in the wrong spot. Uh, we would put the other, so we would just bring this other army camp over here. Um, so there's the base, guys. I think that looks, look, that looks pretty good. Our wizards are spread out, and if someone were to attack from this side right here, they'd have to go through one two three four walls to get into the center and they'd get distracted over here and over here so this this little section is good if someone attacks from the top their defenses are going to go in here and then once they attack these the next closest if it was golems is going to be the cannon it's not going to be the archer or the expo so they're going to come in here and the next closest thing for the golems is going to be right here so they're going to work their way in that direction they're not going to come into the center uh, so that's why I have that built like that and then if someone does come in in the center They're gonna work their way around or the golems will instead of in the direction of this They won't go inward until they come down here Anybody throws in wall breakers? We got a lot of different wall breakers or a lot of different walls for them to mess around with and I think that this is going to be pretty good now if someone does attack from down here That's something that uh, I need to pay attention to Let's see here. Why don't we? do <clears throat> why don't we do this so we'll keep these here but let's fill this in oh, i used them all let's fill this in as well so if somebody does attack with uh wall breakers they'll most likely hit the corners and then we'll be good right there because that's three away we can even take one more of these and do something like this <clears throat> just to stress out the wall breakers <laughs> so that's the whole point with that but we'll see how it works guys uh wow we're at 17 minutes right now so that was just you guys gotta watch me build a base from scratch live um on here so that's what goes through my mind whenever i build a base so i hope that you guys enjoyed it um again it is a longer video a little long-winded with me talking and whatnot not as organized but that's what it looks like when i build a base i wanted you guys to kind of see the process of of all of that just to see how it goes um let's put one of these back I, somebody they should still attack that little x right there because it's protecting that um so yeah that's it we'll see how this works normally what happens if you guys want to check up on my base uh on clash you can go find me uh, i'm gonna eliminate i change it a little bit after i get attacked i move some things around um, like if, if someone's attacking a lot from up here, I'll grab these Teslas and I'll put them right where these builder huts are or something like that. I'll move some things around. So if you guys want to see how it updates, definitely come check out my base a little bit more and you'll see what's going on with it. But we are coming up on a 20 minute video right here. This is crazy. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I apologize for anyone who's still watching the video. I apologize for the stream yesterday I got very frustrated with people trolling me and saying there's lag and with my computer because there's nothing wrong with my computer it's a very good computer <laughs> um, but I'm working on getting a PC but I'm gonna be streaming this afternoon lag or not I'm gonna stream for hopefully I don't know four hours or so and just try and get a good stream going for y'all have some fun do some raiding push up um, and just see where we can go. So definitely stop by that, guys. Twitch.tv forward slash gaming with Molt. It's going to be this afternoon, probably in about two hours, two and a half hours. I'm going to start a little bit earlier, go a little bit later to make up for yesterday. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. You rock. I love you all. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.